But this is what I want you to understand. Faith does not always make things easy. It simply makes them possible. Faith does not always make things easy. It makes them possible. When is the last time that God called somebody to do something that was easy? And then they just said, you know what, Lord, I can handle that. I can do that. Faith makes it possible, not easy. Faith makes it possible. If God tells you, marry him, I know you get in and you say, Lord, are you, you sure you knew what you were talking about? And some of you start almost want to rebuke the devil after, after a while because you thought that he tricked you. But God will put you into something that's not an easy situation. And you'll need him. You will need his help. Faith makes it possible, not easy. I don't know where we got the idea that if you love God, if you know God, that your life is going to be easy. It may be challenging. And you will come to some scary points in your life. And you'll have to trust him. And you'll have to depend on him. You know how the word says that, And these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, you see, it's our responsibility to lay hands on the sick. It's God's responsibility that they recover. We don't have, it's, it's the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. You do your part and God will do his. He never calls you to do something that is easy. He knew that it would be difficult when he called you to it. He knew the marriage would be challenging. He knew raising children was going to be difficult. Well, you want to kill the very one that you gave birth to. He already knew. And yet he called you to it anyway because he wanted you to trust in the midst of it. Don't get in the midst of it and say, Lord, I can't do this anymore. I know we all come to those places that once you've done something, anybody who has done something that is noteworthy, that is, that is worth mentioning in history, they were always tempted to quit at some point. They just said, you know what, Jesus, just take me out of this. Lord, I can't deal with this. Not another day, not another week, not another month, not another year. I can't deal with this. That's because we need to get into his presence and experience times of refreshing. 